cooking, making that turkey. You like turkey or are you a vegan? We're not a vegan yet. I don't think we will be a vegan soon. We like chicken. Turkey's like a big chicken. You ever had turkey filled up like that? Oh baby. Very good. Put some wino on it. Vino. How do you say that? Wino. I don't know. Vino. Vino. That's my daughter talking, by the way. So, as you can see, you have to sew it. And I know this is a shaving channel, it's not a cooking channel. I just wanted to show you. Well, guys, see you in the next one. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel and Merry Christmas. Today, Christmas Eve, we're gonna have fun. And, um, well, for all the other foreigners, uh, I would say, uh, no, how do you say that again? Freuige Weihnachten. Freuige. Um, bon Noël. Bon Natale. Feliz Navidad. Uh, that's about it, guys. That's all I have. Um, we're going to have another shave. As you could see in my previous clip, uh, I was making the turkey, as I promised. And um, uh, my head was going to the shave, though, because, you know, I was kind of happy yesterday because I got my little package uh, with uh, new blades. Um, I've got several of them. This was one of them, which I'm going to use today, the Feather. Uh, it's the high stainless double edge. So they say they are really uh, aggressive. So I'm going to try it out. I've got the other one. I, I don't know which one is more uh, aggressive. So I started off with the gray one. I have no idea. Uh, because it's a, it's an, uh, how, how can I say that, uh, uh, an aggressive one, I am uh, actually going to use my trusty old, well, uh, trusty, <laughs> I've used it a couple of times, come on guys, my Gillette adjustable, of course, my fat boy, uh, I already put a blade in it, so I'm going to let that soak a little bit, uh, of course, I'm going to use uh, uh, my Hawkins Brimble, can see here already look look steam is coming off i love it and um actually what i ordered guys is uh is one of these can you see that i'm talking dutch so it's gonna be a dutch shave and uh i opened it up yesterday oh it actually says dutch dutch shaving soap oh yeah baby anywho um, the thing is, I, I ordered this because I wanted to try them all out and I thought, well, 
18, 20 euros for, for one big one uh, to try it out. Um, I don't know, that, that was a little bit too much for me. So I got the little ones uh, all together, 2150, something like that, euros. So it's not dollars or a yen or whatever, but it's euros. And uh, I'm very excited because I started smelling these. Those are really nice. And I'm, I'm saying old barber, old barber shop scented. Uh, some of, one of them has this, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's like cinnamon kind of a scent. Uh, all kinds of different scents. Uh, uh, scents. And um, I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, I don't know. I, I can't explain. I have to go through it every time because, you know, if, if you start smelling one and you start smelling the other one, it kind of mixes. So it doesn't give you a, a like a real honest uh, opinion about it. I'm going to start out with uh, Delft Wit, Wit, which means white. Um, I used to live in Delft. And as you know, I already said before, Dell's blue is like the pottery kind of thingy. So it's kind of their a twist on a name on it. So it's it's funny. And uh, I'm gonna try that one out first. Um, like I said, Dell's vid. I'm not sure. Is this the Church of Delft? I'm not sure. Can can you focus on that? Can I do that kind of? I don't know if you can read this, guys. I'm trying my best here. Sorry, the focus is always horrible on these cell phones. Anywho, um, Dell's Wit. And um, let's start smelling. It's a tiny container. And it's, it has a little bit of a flowery, kind of scent, but um, also talk powder. And it has this really mild scent. It's, it's not uh, over, over exaggerating in the scent, but I like it. I, it's very nice. It, 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 uh, it has the, um, a little bit of a, of a feeling when I had when I was a little kid and we went to the barber shop. There was actually one barber shop in in, in the village I was living, um, uh, where my dad grew up and he, he he lived his whole life. He actually died there, um, and this. Um, but um, yeah, th there was this barber shop and uh, and uh, one of my friends, his 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 grandfather owned this. And, uh, and people would go there and it was like a cigar shop and it, it you know, you could buy cigarettes and, 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 and it, you know, he was a barber. He was an old fashioned barber. It was really funny. He had like a, the, 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 what you call it, the clippers and everything. And, you know, he was, he had one uh, way of cutting your hair and it was short. <laughs> and my mother would always, you know, go like, don't make it too short. <laughs> <laughs> she was always uh, on about that, and that was really funny. Um, he, he was uh, he, he was uh, a legend. This man, he, he was funny, and uh, well, I, I became friends with his uh, grandson, and uh, he's he's around my age, a little bit younger maybe, but um, yeah, we would go there, and this is actually what I don't know. It's it's a particular kind of scent. It's it's lovely. Uh, you have to try it. If, you, if you've never tried this, it, it is great. And um, we're going to use that one, uh, Dell's Vit. Um, I wanted to give you an update on uh, the thing I uh, I was making out of that ashtray. You remember when I was talking in the other previous video? Um, it was an ashtray I, I bought in Costa Rica. And um, oh, I saw something there. Oh, no, it, it's it's away. But um, oh no, here it is. Well, doesn't matter. Um, and I was like, how how am I gonna make this out of a you know make a, a little ladder kind of a bowl? And uh, what what I actually did is uh, you remember this soap? This is disgusting, by the way. This is a bad soap. I'm gonna throw that out. Um, I took uh, like a, a phrase. 
a, 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 no, it's not a phrase. It, 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 well, it, it phrases off. If you say that in English like that, I don't know. My neighbor had one and I, I cut out, like if you can see the bottom here, I cut out the, the, the little bump which goes up and then I, I, I sand it off the edges so it doesn't, it's not a, it's not an ashtray anymore. It's, it's a bowl. So I'm going to try that uh, out very soon, somewhere in the near future. But today I'm going to stick with, with this. Um, well, I did everything already. I had a shower a little while ago though, but um, yeah, I was cooking. This bird needs five, six hours, <laughs> a long time. <laughs> so I'm, uh, I'm doing that. I don't know, what are you cooking at home? Is it turkey or like I said before, are you vegan? I'm sorry. You know, I don't judge. I hope you don't judge me. It's a tradition. And I understand in the States they have the, the, the vegetarian turkey. And I actually heard from some people, it is a, uh, really tastes like turkey. I always wonder how they do that. What are we talking about? This is not a cooking channel. Come on. We're shaving. Just wanted to give you guys an update on you know, the little things, little twist I had and made. The thing was, I was thinking about this little bowl I was making and um, well, I wasn't making it. I was just using it more or less. And uh, the thing is, I, uh, look at that. So hot, oh, nice. Let's use this. Um, and I was going in my head. I was, you know, I'm always thinking about things. I don't know. And um, one day I just woke up this week. And um, I thought I can send it down. I can... I can do something and make a nice bowl. And actually it lies really nice in my hand. It's wood though. So I don't know how long it's gonna last. So, <laughs> you know, I'm just trying some things out. So I hope you're having a great holiday. First pass. Ooh. Oh wow. Already very slick. I've got two days of growth. Can you see that? I, uh... Oh, wow. This is really mild smelling. The scent is awesome. And, uh... This is some awesome stuff. Very, very mild. Today we're, I'm cooking the Christmas Eve meal. We have like in the Netherlands, we, well, we do at home. I don't know. We, uh, Christmas Eve, we celebrate and also Christmas day. And we also celebrate like, you would say boxing day, I guess. As to us, it's like second Christmas day. Like he was born twice, but it's incorrect. Come on. Born twice? Ooh, Santa? No, come on guys. No, a little bit of your history. Wow, this is, uh, I don't know. Maybe I have to use a little bit more. As you can see, it's it's kind of a, the thing is it's a, it's a small kind of a package, so it, it makes a ladder, but you need more, I guess, and more water, and you need to have space, I guess. Space to really make up that ladder. I don't know, I never use a ladder for something which is already in a, in a thin, uh, thin cup, something, what do, you, what do you call it? It's 
not a cop. I know. The smell is really nice, guys. If you have the chance to buy this, this is handmade. They say produce, hand produce. Hold on. Bristle there. Hitting my eye again. Well, it is very mild, like I said, in, in the way of smelling the, the scent of it, but to me, it, it could have been a little bit more, I guess. I, I like a good scent. I don't know. I just like a good smell, especially if it's, it's nice smelling. Because this is something else. Do I need more water? It's producing a lot of ladder on my hand though, but because to container, that's that's the word I was looking for, container. It's so small, it comes out. But it's really nice on the skin though. Also, I don't know, moisturizing, I guess. I don't know. Come on guys, help me out. I'm trying to make a good ladder. Why is he taking so long? I'm just trying some stuff out, guys. Sorry. I'm still learning. As you should. As I believe. You don't stop learning when you're 18. Come on. <sighs> Very good. All right. Get my hands. Hold on. There you go. Today, busy day, cooking. In the afternoon, we're gonna have a birthday. And then in the evening, we're gonna celebrate Christmas Eve with friends, our neighbors actually. What shall I do? They say it's very aggressive. So what I'm gonna do is put it on a wand just to try it out. Because uh, I don't want to cut myself. So, aggressive razor in it. I'm going to do the Dutch way of shaving. I'm going to bump it up. I'm going to put it on a tree. Tree, tree, not tree. There you go. Already better. Let's go to the four. Shall I dare do a five? Let's let's try a five. better. I'm favoring my fat boy on a five. The other day I did it on a seven, but it was, there were different blades still. Wow. This is insane, guys. I'm liking feather. You know, that's a deal with the... Double-edged shaving. 
you need to try out a little, you know, a couple of stuff and a couple of things at the time because um, not everybody has, like I said before, the same face or the same contours of your face. Like I have high cheekbones, like here, you know, I, I really need to try out, you know, the the way I'm holding the the razor. And uh, also, that's the nice thing about having a adjustable razor. It doesn't really matter what brand you have, but it's always nice. Like I like, I favor Gillette, I guess. It's the only thing I've got. I mean, I, I can't really talk about other brands, but the thing is you can adjust it and it really helps you out to find out and try, you know, different stuff. Especially if you're looking for another blade, you say, well, this blade is too not, is aggressive or is not aggressive. You know, you, especially with a, I could have bumped it up for, for up, up to a seven, I guess, but. I'm gonna leave it here. Just to play it safe. But I'm very impressed about the, the blade. Never tried it before. But like I said, you need to find your own way I am. Uh, I'm a firm believer of uh, you know trying to experiment with certain blades or maybe razors. Most of my razors there, they're good. I like them. But for instance, the other day I said the rocket or the the the, the super speed, and I under, I understand it's a, uh, uh, how do you say that? Um, my light turned off. I'm sorry. Hi guys, <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> my battery went dead. <laughs> so <laughs> I. You need to get some electricity. Wow, this is even the minute I was away. Still does very well. I'm very, I'm very excited about this. Yeah. Just a little bit here. serious though otherwise I would have felt it I, uh, I guess most guys have a uh, troublesome necks like the other day somebody said uh, I, I watched something on YouTube to pull the skin away from your Adam's apple. It doesn't really work. It's, it's very slippery. Well, it works a little bit, I guess. The thing is, I don't have a lot of skin to, to pull away. This is nice, guys. I like it. I like it a lot. 
That was the first one. Liking this. I'm afraid I didn't touch everything. This, this is good. This, oh, oh, I touched everything. I did. Wow, guys, this is incredible. And the first pass. I, I'm liking this though, though. I'm really liking it. I can imagine, you know, people buying high-end stuff. You know why? Because um, I am. Um, you know, I usually tend to try out stuff before I go all the way. I am. Um, I don't know. I'm built like that, I guess. I like to try out stuff before. Making a verdict. <laughs> I don't know about these little thin containers. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, it's not too bad, but. Very mild. Could have been a little bit stronger for my kind of taste. I like the, the old barber scent, as you know. Barber saloon shop. What do you call that? Help me out here. I uh, all I could. Uh, I'm not gonna forget this time. I'm gonna go across. The other day I was messing up. Oh, that's my turkey done. <coughs> You notice I was cutting <laughs> because of my turkey. I didn't know I was gone for so long. What was I saying? I uh, I like I like the scent a little bit more, more powerful, I guess. It's the same uh, as I, I don't know, when I was younger, and you know, my grandfather would, or my uncle, I said, I, I don't know whom, whom it was. Old Spice. Okay, cross. Oh yeah. This is just effortless. I'm not doing anything, guys. Seriously, this is just amazing. I like it. I'm not doing, it's just gliding over my face. This is some serious, first of all, the feather blade, it's just amazing. Second of all, the soap. The soap is just insane, serious. I think this is just spot on. Be a little careful here. Maybe I could bump it down a little bit. Because it's already feel it's sensitive. I'm gonna put it on a three. Better to be safe than sorry. I, uh, and I'm not putting any pressure though. I'm just gliding away.
You know, I'm, I'm not a hairy guy, but... <laughs> wow. I just, I just feel this. How am I gonna do this? Put it on your face. I know. Trying to get the right angle. Wow. I am so impressed. Oh, with this, you would wish you could shave three times a day. This is awesome. I don't know you can't shave three times a day. You can. Don't do it, though. Don't do it. Uh, going across, for me, the tree is perfect. Tree. With these blades, you have to be careful now. And don't be cocky. Serious. Especially in the beginning when you get started off with, you know, no leg shave anyway. Even straight razor. <laughs> Don't be cocky. Oh, I can do this. Next thing you know, you have a big scar. I could be done right here, I guess. Am I getting everything? I think so. You know, some people say you have to find the balance of the razor. It's true, kind of. Oh, let's not do that. Okay. Second pass, awesome guys. I'm losing track here. I have no idea because I just stopped two times. Once for my battery and once for the turkey. I don't want to ruin Christmas Eve. Wow. Guys, wherever you are, you have to try this. So, that's insane. Nice and smooth. Wow, I could be done. I could be done. A little bit here. I have to go across. Oh, I mean, against. But I'm done. Look at that. Can you see that, guys? Ladies? I could be done. But I'm not done. I'm going to do the last one. I, uh, oh, I'm liking this. Oh, I forgot again. I keep forgetting aftershave. Why? Well, I have a bomb here, but no aftershave. I'm thinking old school. 
This shape deserves old school. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah. That old barber scent. In the Netherlands, you would say old guy scent. Doesn't translate though. Old guy stink. I understand. It's just a saying, guys. The old people knew how to make real manly scents, I guess. I am. Uh, to me, now, a lot of um, perfumes or aftershaves, what you call them, they're too flowery. Uh, I don't like that. Not manly at all. Nothing against people liking them though. I mean, everybody to each his own. That's a, I don't know. I'm old school, I guess. I'm old. <laughs> I'm not old. Still 25, as you can see. At least here. <laughs> I, uh, I was said, said, I, uh, I feel 25 all the way. I don't know. It's just silly me. Off. Look, little weepers already here. See that? That is what I wanted to say before. It's just really nice to have an adjustable one because then you can play with it, figure out, you know, what's nice for your skin or not. And even those little samples from, from the soap, you know, I would re recommend doing that. You know, one you might not like or... All right, I need a little soap. Not really happy there. Go. I am happy though. Well, I'm glad I put it on the wand. Those blades are sharp, 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 sharp. You're new here, and you ask yourself, what is he doing? BBS, that's what I'm trying to achieve. And it's not for everybody. Some people like it after the first bath. I already said in my previous. And if you have a really sensitive skin I would really not recommend it to do three passes. I would stick to one, maybe two. Don't torture yourself. Just don't do it. All right. What is this? Oh. 
I love the balance of this. Fat boy. It's really, after 61 years, it's working like a charm, seriously. Like I have the, 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 the slim adjustable, but it's, I don't know if you can see that, but the doors don't, don't really close perfectly. So I really need to tune up, you know, and I won't do it myself because I'm afraid I'm gonna wreck it. That one's 60 years old though. 60, almost 62 years old. Oh, 60, 62, almost 61 years old. Like I said before, my head is all over the place. Sorry. I'm trying to explain and think at the same time. Talking to you guys. If you're watching, and if you're not, that's good also. I... Wow. Oh, that one is just perfect. Like I said, we need to find what is right for your skin and your preferences. Wow, guys. Get one of these soaps. I would recommend the, the trial thingy. It's really nice, really smooth. Wow. This is just amazing. The tricky part with Baby Smooth is uh, not putting pressure. You're tempted to do that, you know. I know from experience that you're tempted to do that. All right, this is nice. Like I said, you're gonna cut yourself. You're gonna hurt yourself, don't do it. I'm trying to find spots I didn't touch. And again, trying to do this without having to put a lot of pressure on it. You know, I'm, I'm kind of fortunate in a way that I, I have a goatee and a mustache so I don't have to go on the chin. That's kind of tough though, you know, I'm going totally smooth. I mean, I haven't been smooth in, in 20 years. I, I think my, well, last year I, I, I took off the goatee, left the mustache. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It was kind of hard to to get the chin because there are a lot of bones there. You know, a lot of angles. That's difficult. I mean. I'm glad I have a goatee.
still little hair is being cut. Wow, guys, that's amazing. Trying to do this the best way I can. Wow. Sometimes I really wonder about the guys who have this hefty beard. I feel for them, especially if they want, don't like it or they have to cut it or shave it because of work. In the Netherlands, you're not allowed to, to ask your employees to cut your their, or shave their beards or mustache, which is good. Because sometimes it's a little bit ridiculous, though. I mean, I understand if you're not grooming yourself, you know, you're kind of. But if you take care of yourself, you. I am good, guys. And girls. I'm going to use my trusty old. Uh, tag. To do uh, my mustache again because it's getting too long. And again, I'm forgetting a blade here. Silly me. Should I dare use the feather blade? That is a good shave though, I'm telling you. Wow, kudos for those Japanese, I understand. They make all kinds of uh, stuff. They're not cheap though. I mean, I understand. I mean, it's real quality stuff. You know, guys, if you're like me, you like good quality, and you have the means, I would recommend it. I seriously look you, you've been you've been out there maybe you know you've been doing this for years and years and you've used the, the feather blade I've never used it so I'm all new to this I'm new in this community so to me, it's, uh, wow, I wasn't expecting this. I mean, I heard about it, you know, they're sharp and they're kind of aggressive. Am I there?
50, no, 60 to 70 years old. That's amazing. Seriously. Sorry, I was quiet for a little bit. I need to focus. That is just insane. Where can I put this? Let's put it here. That's just insane, guys, insane. It's so amazing. It still amazes me that they, they could do this. Like, you know, 60, 70 years ago, make that stuff. I mean, I understand. No, the, the prices were different and everything. A few, a few hairs here, but I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna leave it. Yes. Because, uh, like I said, it's uh, it's a really sharp blade. What was this? I think a little bit um of uh, maybe some nicks or something. I don't know. Looks really, really, really good. I'm gonna use my alum block. Making it wet again. A little zingy on the neck. Oh, here I feel it a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit, tiny bit. Here, yes. I mean, it's singy, but it, there are no cuts. Sorry. See, maybe just a little nick. One or two, maybe three. I always have the tendency to, to lay it down on a, not on a right angle. Wow, it's not too bad, guys. Not too bad at all. Oh, I dropped my towel. I am, I am impressed, seriously. Okay, clean it out. Impressed. If you're squeamish, don't, don't don't buy it. If you like a good like BBS, buy it. I would recommend it. But if you have sensitive skin, I don't think I would recommend it though. I mean, if you're a little bit maybe more advanced. I, I, I would do it, but before, I wouldn't do it, guys. And girls. There's a big community of ladies who do double edge. Here. There's this one Dutch lady I saw explaining she was just once I guess explaining about double edge on YouTube and she was more in, in how do you say that uh, in 
how do you, how do you say that again? She, she likes nature. <laughs> uh, I can't, I've, I've lost the word. It's a, I don't know. The environment. Environmentalists, you say it like that? Uh, wow, good shave, guys. See, uh, she was doing it to save the planet, and I, I understand her. I mean, it's better than the cartridge if you uh, use these. I mean, it's made out of steel, so that can you, you reason it? reuse them um, I mean I understand that I would recommend it for the environment I guess but mostly because it's a good shave it is a good shave I am so impressed and also Gillette I, every time it hits me I just, you know, I, 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 I get, I do a little bit of research, you know, going on the internet and stuff. I, I don't have books or stuff, so I, but there are some guys out there that are really knowledgeable, like Matt from Raise Emporium. He, uh, he is really knowledgeable. And um, there's so many things I, I didn't know he explained. And oh, hold on. And I'm really always. Uh, oh, while I'm doing this, I'm going to use a little bit of mineral oil. Look at that. To drop just to drop where is it protects everything actually I could do that also on my hefty friend here Use a little bit of. I don't think I ever done this. And you're, if you're asking yourself, what is mineral oil? I have no clue. I just know it. It, it is. Uh, I don't know. Is it plant based or something? I, I don't know. It. Um, I was hearing about the mineral oil, you know, and I was like, okay, well, how? How am I gonna figure out what is mineral oil? Because I have no clue whatsoever. You know. And then uh, I was thinking about it and I thought, hey, I've got some oil in my shed. And um, turns out it, it is a mineral oil. Still, I don't know what it is. I have no clue. Yeah. Uh... Wow, this really works. <laughs> of course it does. Thing is, uh, like I said, I, uh, wow, really? Wow. Guys, do this. Hold on. This is just insane. Figure out what mineral oil is and use it. Serious. I'm not messing around. I'm just gonna leave this a little bit to dry. This is good stuff. Wow. It is insane wow look at that 
It was squeaky, kind of. No squeak. That's amazing. Seriously. I need to do all my others. I'm not gonna do it now, though. That was insane. Wow. All right. Uh, where's the lid? Oh, there it is. All right. Try this off a little bit so I can preserve the box in a sense of I've got something to put it. <laughs> wow. Scheer Monik. Which is a, a monk, a shaving monk. For all you uh, people who are wondering. What does that mean? You're not wondering, probably. I just like to explain. I am. Ooh. Tight. Wow. Wow. That was hot. That's to the cold. We're getting some cold water right now. It's really cold. Well, for Dutch standards, I mean, it's not cold. Like I take cold showers, as I said. But you can feel it when, uh, when the water is getting colder or it's colder outside, I mean, you feel it. I am excited about this shape. Really guys, I'm uh, blown away, seriously. And I'm not affiliated with them. No, I'm not. You think? He's getting money. I wish. Getting money and having a shave? That's... That's a win-win. <laughs> but I like it. I would... Uh... They're actually based in... Uh... Holland. I can actually say Holland. Don't say Holland, guys, if you're overseas or whatever. It's the Netherlands. Holland is just a province. There are actually two provinces. Oh, please explain. Well, you have the northern part of Holland and the southern part. I'm from the southern part, I guess. I grew up there. My daddy was a pure Holland guy, I guess. <laughs> but I always tell people, I, I could actually say I'm, I have a Dutch name, but it's from Holland. It, it is actually from Holland. His uh, family came, well, actually, they, they, there is like a record and it goes back to the, the 1500s. So like 15, 15, five or something, they, the, the oldest rec re records they have, they could find my family name, Chris name. I am, um... all right, I, I'm good, I'm all fired up. What do I have? Oh, no, I'm gonna use my uh, new Italian uh, bomb. I like that. So it's not a complete, um... Aftershave bomb, Dutch uh, shave, but because I love Italy and I 
wish all my friends in Italy uh, a very Merry Christmas. Buon Natale a tutti. Buona, buona festa. I, uh, most of our friends are from Genova. My, uh, wow, this is Prorasso. I am not messing around. This is good stuff. Have to be careful around the neck it will t it will go away but um wow what a blade i am telling you what a blade like i said don't don't do this if you're, <laughs> you're going into this i am telling you it's uh it's not good You would, you would seriously hurt yourself. <laughs> Try something mild, I'm telling you. And if you don't know what is mild, I, I don't know per se what is mild. I, I know a little bit, but I, I would recommend to, to, to go online. There, you know, there are several, you know, would sell locally. And they would actually definitely know what is mild and what is not mild. They told me about the feather uh, thingy, which one is even, well, they're a little bit milder, but if you go on the, on the website, it doesn't really explain. But the lady who, whom, whom I talked to said, well, this one is even more uh, aggressive than the other one. I said, well, let's try them both. And um, yeah, that's why I got them both. But um like I said, I, it's, it's, it's just amazing. All right, guys, I'm all done. I'm going to leave it at that. For now, I'm, I'm uh, wishing you a Merry Christmas. And have fun with your relatives, friends. And uh, if you're, uh, like us, restricted, uh, be careful. Uh, just recently, again, another... So he's like a friend, a colleague, more or less. He um, he got COVID, so he's he's indoors. He's 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 in quarantine. So um, yeah, what are you gonna do? But uh, if you have uh, any questions, remarks, you can ask me. Uh, remarks, be kind, of course. And uh, well, do I have other stuff to say? I, I don't know. Uh, just Merry Christmas, guys. Enjoy yourself and be kind to one another. That's the most important thing. And I hope you have a great uh, well, great uh, uh, Christmas with your family and relatives, if it's possible, of course. And um, otherwise, see you on the next one. And uh, be kind to one another.